Hmm. I wonder where the food goes after I eat it. The glucose. Floating in the cytoplasm next to the mitochondria. In glycolysis, a glucose molecule is split to create two pyruvates and two NADH molecules. Here we see the two pyruvates, and if oxygen is present, they move into the mitochondria with the two NADH. These pyruvates will now make their way to the Krebs cycle. After the Krebs cycle is complete, it will produce CO2 and 8 NADH and 2 FADH2. These electron transport carriers will make their way into the electron transport chain. Now the electron carriers pass their hydrogen ions to the transport proteins that transport those ions out of the matrix and enter the intermembrane space. Water is also produced in the electron transport chain. Now the ATP synthase is located right next to the electron transport chain and the ATP synthase will carry one of the hydrogen ions that were previously transported into the intermembrane space and will transport one more hydrogen ion back into the matrix to synthesize ADP plus a free floating phosphate into ATP. Now this process will generate roughly 32 ATP and will then be transported out of the mitochondria into other parts of the cell to perform other cellular functions. Eventually, some more glucose will find its way outside of the mitochondria again, and the process will start all over.